Hey, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the uh, the gear that we used. Some of the gear that we used on the Covet was uh, professional gear. Some of the gear was prosumer gear. Um, and then some of it we just made. And I wanted to talk about one of the items that we made, which is called the Snorri Cam. If you're not familiar with that, Google it. There's some, um, some interesting... Uh, Historically significant uh, films that have been made using the Snorri Cam. It was, um, I don't remember the exact history, but it was invented by these guys. With the, I think their last name was Snorri. Anyway, they're very expensive to buy. And uh, I've even seen, I think it was um, on the arrow, I want to throw the picture up. Uh, on the arrow is the source of my muse, so to speak to build this Snorri Cam, and I bought everything off of Amazon. Um, actually, I take that back. Most of it was on Amazon, and then a couple of things I bought from China Direct. Um, some just cheap stuff. Well, <clears throat> basically, all it consists of is a chest plate um, that you strap onto your actor, and then a camera is mounted to their chest, and it gives it kind of like this weird, you know, kind of, um, a look that makes it makes you feel a little uneasy so if the character is confused or um, scared that's a great time to use some uh, the snorri cam kind of look because it has a very odd look um, anyway so I kind of overcomplicated the process and I was going to um, do this whole chest rig that I used from the arrow um, uh, the picture to kind of like build this and this is just a piece of plastic that I bought on Amazon you can buy these in like sheets um, and um, and then these belts are actually dicky belts that you would use for like your belt for um, on the job like if you're uh, construction and you have your tool belt these are what they use for the tool belt so I just bought a really big one so it can just kind of adjust uh, to the actor. And then I realized that I had this thing, which is a suction cup mount for vehicles is usually what you'd use it for, but you can put it on anything it has a smooth surface. If you want to get a nice high shot, um, you can stick it to a window on a building, um, but most of the time they're used for cars. That's what I bought this for, is for a car. Um, and these suction cups are super strong. Bought this on Amazon probably a year ago before I even decided to buy um, the parts to, to make the Snorri game. And so basically just I would stick this on here, put a wide lens on there, like a 20 millimeter. Uh, I think we might even be, um, we haven't shot the scene yet, but I think we might even be using a 16. Um, but super wide so that uh, since it's so close to your subject you want to be able to make sure that you can kind of see everything around it and it's okay if it's a little distorted because that's kind of part of the look um, so if you kind of get like this round uh, fisheye look um, a fisheye would, lens would work um, then that's fine uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna go that extreme but um, anyway so I just made it and I think I might have spent 35 bucks on all the pieces not including the suction cut mount. I think the suction cut mount by itself is probably somewhere around 30 bucks. Um, so under 100 bucks at least, you can build a Snorri Cam setup. And it's really more about how you're planning to use the gear than the gear itself. The gear itself is not going to make something look like a million bucks. It's how you use the gear. It's um, so uh, that's just a side note, but. Uh, that was just some of the gear that we used and I just wanted to share with you guys um, some of the stuff that I learned about building my own gear. That's the first time I've ever done it. So, 